Hello YouTube, how's it going? Just another day in paradise, right? That's what I thought. Well, there it is, the old forerunner, and uh, no, <laughs> someone didn't steal my wheels. I ordered up uh, some brand new ones. They came today on eBay. I got four brand new tires coming, and uh, let's take a look at them real quick, and here they are. These are called Avalanche. extreme ice and snow tires check them out check the tread out in these bad boys you can actually put studs in these tires if you want these are 265 70 16s we do a little review on them i guess uh we're gonna put them on drive them a hundred a couple hundred miles and i'll come back a little bit later and let you know uh what i think but locally they wanted over 150 dollars just per one tire i got all four of these tires online free shipping for about 400 dollars. you can't beat that uh, that's one advantage about shopping online. Actually, these were on eBay. Uh, there's a dealer on there. There's hundreds of dealers on uh, eBay for tires, but there are my Forerunner rims all cleaned up, ready to be mounted. Um, they got here in two days, which is pretty impressive. These are just plain old black walls. They don't have any letters on them or anything, which I really don't care. Because a lot of people like black rims and black tires anyway. But uh, yeah, these are the set one up here avalanche x tree x t r e m e extreme I put a lot of e's in there but uh, i thought i'd stick these on there and uh here is my old tires you probably see why <laughs> story of my life every time i buy a vehicle gotta have new tires you know people don't put tires on their vehicles they just drive them until they go bald i guess but that's what was on there, and I think we're going to see a huge difference between that to these. So, I'll be back here in oh, a few days, and we'll drive it, get them mounted, let you know what I think about them. They should ride pretty nice. The reviews have been pretty good on them. And, uh, man, these treads, man, I tell you, it's probably a half inch deep. These things will go. If these work out really good, then I'm probably going to buy four for my Trailblazer because the tires on it aren't so good and if i can get uh, i think i can get four trailblazer tires which are 245 70 16s which is just a little smaller than these i think i can get all four of them free shipping for about 325 bucks so that would be just wonderful all right so uh there's another look here all right so we're down to our last rim here and just a little tip if you're doing this yourself and if you have a way to break those tires off the uh, rim, I typically just use my SUV and a board. Lots of videos online how to do that. But when you're putting your tire back on your rim, uh, use a little oil around the bead because it makes it really easy to slip back on the rim. And when you put air in it, I just usually use a shot of air with my air hose, which is uh, hiding on me here. This guy here, I just usually just hit it with a shot of air into the stem here and just blow it up real quick. And it usually pops the tire up on the rim pretty fast and you can put your uh, valve stems back in and all that. That's how I do it. That is the hardcore way. All right, so we're done here. Finish up and uh, take this thing down the highway and see how it's going to be. So I guess my only dilemma is, do I keep my uh, Forerunner? which I really like. Or do I keep my Trailblazer? I can't keep both. I don't know. Although I will say, the Trailblazer does ride a little nicer. But these Forerunners, man, they run forever. So stay tuned for that decision. All right, you can see we are out in the uh, snow, sort of, here in the uh, Appalachian, 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 whatever you want to call it, mountains here in uh, West Virginia. And the road's got a little bit of snow on them. But tires so far have been doing really well. We'll stop up here in a few minutes, give you a nice look at them. Two quick things. Um, I don't know if you can hear that. I get a bearing. I think it's getting bad in the carrier in the front or the rear. Hear that humming? Let me get it up to about 40. I think you can hear it now. Howling. Howl. 
But uh, that's the noise I'm gonna have to deal with. I can't figure out if it's the front or the rear. It sounds like the front, but nevertheless, I'm gonna drop both carriers and uh, probably replace them. If you wanna see a video on that, let me know. If not, I probably won't do it because something has gone on with YouTube and the algorithm. Uh, lately, my videos have not been getting any views, so to me, it's no loss if I don't do the video, but maybe it'll help somebody, I don't know. So, uh, back to the tires. We're doing pretty good. The Forerunner has been uh, running great. This has been about a week later since I put the tires on them. They're really quiet. It handles really well. The steering's straight. Uh, no shakes or anything. Of course, I balanced them myself and put them on myself. Saved about another $150 there. I think the total value of these tires, if you count what, uh, the, 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 what I paid for them, the weight and the balance and uh, all that, I, it probably would, would have been about... $600 so uh, they're doing really good and like I said snowing a little bit and I've had it up some snowy roads and uh, Does quite well even in all-wheel drive, which I today. I just have a two-wheel drive. It's really not a, an issue whatsoever All right, so let's stop up here and check out these tires You know what I'd like to do right now. Oh, yeah I'd like to do a donut Someone's been doing donuts here before me <laughs> Check it out Oh, yeah not good for the tires, but a little bit of fun there. All right, so uh, let me pull over here real quick and give you a look at these tires. Snow's blowing. Looks like it's about 19 degrees. Let's see. 19 degrees. All right, so far, like I said, tires, I'm pretty happy with them. You can't beat these tires. Let me give you a look at them out here real quick. Red. I mean, that's a lot of tread there. It's probably a half inch tread. And I'm going to get four of these to put on my Trailblazer. It'll be a little cheaper because they're just a little smaller tire. I'm pretty happy with them so far. So these uh, Avalanche Extract, Extreme, whatever they're called. Seem like they're going to be pretty good tires so if you want to buy some of these go for it i don't have really any issues with them whatsoever and it looks really good these are the original size tires that this uh forerunner takes it takes the 265 70 16 inch tires and ironically the trailblazer takes 245 60 16 inch tires so there's a nice look at it so uh i uh, just want to give you a little review on these tires so let me know if you want to see me uh, working on the uh, front differential and the rear differential, replacing those bearings. I know one of them is bad, although I've checked the front two wheel bearings, I've had it up in the air, jacked it up, shook the wheel, spun it. I can't find anything, but I still may have to take the wheel completely off and pull the hub off and actually get in there and feel that bearing. I know the noise is up front, and this is a pretty common issue with these forerunners. Uh, a lot of forums, a lot of people trying to figure out what their noise is, and they really you just got to get in there and dig in there and uh start researching and trying to figure out what's going on all right so it's cold out here i'm out of here until my next video guys have a good one and stay warm